it's Destry. Welcome back to my yard. Today I have like a ton of tasks to do. Um, so it's currently Friday and tomorrow night we're supposed to have our first freeze. So here in Oregon, autumn has arrived. Um, right now it's sunny and nice out, but tonight it's gonna get cold. So we've had really cold temperatures at night and tomorrow night it's supposed to freeze. So. I have a bunch of projects I need to get done. I'm like kind of frantically <laughs> running around trying to figure out what I need to do, what the priorities are. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what I've got going on today. All right, so you can see I have been purchasing plants up until yesterday. I've decided I can't do anything else <laughs> this season. In fact, I'm not sure I can get these in the ground, but. Um, my favorite nursery was having a huge sale. So I got both of these. I got like a bunch of stuff for like 20 bucks. Um, this is a um, star jasmine, which one of my very, very, very favorite YouTubers um, grows star jasmine. And so I wanted to give it a try and I thought it would be pretty to grow on my obelisk. I got three of these little evergreens. Now this is for a specific project I'm gonna be doing. Um, these are the Donald Gold Cypress. And then I got one bigger one, and I believe this is just an Arborvitae. Yeah, it's an Arborvitae, and this is for a different project. So I've got all that stuff to get planted up. And then yesterday in my greenhouse, I realized I had an aphid problem. So these are these wire vines I got um, on sale, and then just a couple of these um, of verbenas that I was going to try to overwinter in my greenhouse and they all had spider mites. So I brought them out yesterday. I sprayed them with insecticidal soap, which is not really harmful for anybody except the aphids. But you can see here I've got kind of an infestation. So I'm not sure if I want to bring them back in. I'm not sure if that did the trick, um, but I'm kind of isolating them at least for a couple couple days. I, again, I'm going to have to get them in before the freeze. But they're really pretty and they're growing really well, these um, little wire vines. So I was gonna try to overwinter them in my greenhouse, but that was kind of a bummer. So, and then over here, I did grab one more um, cucara on sale. In fact, I don't even think it has a tag, but isn't it gorgeous? Look at the, yeah, it does not, even I did not pay $16.99. I think I paid like five bucks or something for this guy. And I thought it had really beautiful foliage. These are my cone flowers that I dug out of my other bed, which I need to get in the ground somewhere. And then these are some cyclamen, which I've heard do really well in cold weather. So this is for a specific project as well. So you can see I have some things to get in the ground, some things to work on. By the way, these two hugras, I'll just show you. These are a, um, what are these ones? City Rio Coral Bells. Um, not a hugra. Yeah, a hugra. Um, and then is this one the same? I think it is. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, City Rio. So anyway, those are those. So I want to get those in the ground. Um, definitely have some projects to get going. And then my husband's going to help me come out tomorrow morning, I think, and we are going to winterize the greenhouse. So I definitely will film that process for you. Um, we are going to hook up a heater. We have a a heater to hook up um, that stays plugged in just on an extension cord. And then we have these foam pieces that are like basically styrofoam. You can kind of see them tucked back here. And we put those on the sides and on the top of the greenhouse, and then we tarp the whole thing. Now, it's a little excessive, I know, but it's it worked really well last year to not have stuff freeze in there, and I do have some you know more like house plants in there so that's what we did and it seemed to work really really well so um yeah i just have a lot going on and i think i'm going to go ahead and get started on project one so project number one i need to do today is to dig up my dahlia tubers so this is my dahlia you can see it has a hollow stem and i'm going to try to dig this out of the ground and save the tubers there's also one here in this little cage. And then I have a few more um, in a garden bed over here. So I'm gonna try to save the tubers and I've been doing some research on how to do that. And it looks pretty simple. Basically you lift the tubers up out of the ground, you let them dry. 
um, and then you store them for the winter. Um, you can store them in some, you know, bark shavings or you can store them in vermiculite. And so I think with a couple of these, I'm going to give it a try just because it would be nice to, you know, have them next year as well. So you can see there's one, two, I think three there. And then you can also divide them that way. So you can actually, um, you know, divide the tubers and have more for next year, which could be cool. And then also because I think this bed here, I'm going to change this up for next year anyway. And so I probably don't want those in there anyway. Sorry, those are my gloves. So yeah, I'm going to try it with maybe not all of them, maybe just some of them and see how it goes and see if any of them actually will survive. Like these two that I've had in the ground, I've had those in the ground for years and they've always come back and been fine. So I don't know that I necessarily need to dig them all up. I might leave these two and then just dig these since I wanna move this stuff anyway. I think that this whole bed here, um, I might even move that um, hosta right there and make this whole bed for annuals here. So I have a Shasta daisy there that I think I'm gonna move out of here because this gets good sun in my yard and I have my saguaro cactus because my uncle lives in Arizona. So I, it's a joke because it's the only way I can have a saguaro cactus in Oregon. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna get started on digging up some of these tubers and then see if I can get one of these other projects going today. So let's get started. Well, I dug some tubers up. <laughs> I have to be honest, I've never done this before. All the Dahlia tubers I've ever had, I just leave them in the ground and they just do their thing. And most of them come back, some of them don't, but I'm trying something different this year to see if I can divide some of these. So let me show you what I got. Um, and hopefully there's some viable tubers that I can save till next year. So let me show you. Okay, so I pulled them out of the ground and I gave them a good rinse off. So I'm gonna let these dry now. Um, hopefully for a couple days, I might put them in my shed, but hopefully, um, these are what the tubers look like, by the way, if you're a newbie like me, um, but hopefully I can get some new ones, but you can see I did, I felt like I was cutting through some of them. Look at these though. I feel like these two, man, those are looking good, but see like this one, that's not going to do anything now. Um, so I'll just have to wait and see. Um, when they dry, maybe I can try to separate some of these, although they look a little different than some of the ones that I've been researching. That's kind of more what I was expecting, them to be like more linear like that, but I don't know about these big fat ones. Maybe it's just the type of dahlia it is. But anyway, they're kind of interesting, so I'm gonna store them. We'll see. Hopefully they will um, store okay and I can plant them up next spring. So we will see. But I did leave some in the ground. So um, those are the ones I dug. And I did leave these two in the ground. And they were a similar variety than those other ones. 
So it's gonna kind of be my test. If these two do well over the winter, then next year I'll just commit to where I'm gonna put them and probably not move them again. Um, but I did dig up the ones that were in this other bed. So yeah, so that's task number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the shed to dry and then um, check on them in a couple days and see if they're ready to you know, store. And then I probably won't try dividing them now. I think I'm gonna wait until the spring. Apparently, if you divide them in the spring, it's a little easier to see if they have um, the little eyes on the top. So you have to see if they have a, basically a growth point. And apparently that's a little easier to do in the spring. So anyway, I don't think I hurt anything by cutting them or digging them out, but I don't know that I helped anything either, but I guess we will have to wait and see. So I'm gonna get these stored away and cleaned up and then I'm gonna move on to my next yardening task today. All right, so up next, I am going to get these echinacea planted. So I pulled these out of another bed. Here they are, they're echinacea or coneflower. So I am going to find a spot in my landscape and get those planted up before it freezes in tomorrow night. <laughs> so I've got to get them in the ground tonight um, and hopefully they will do okay. So that's what I'm doing next. And then that might be all I have time for today. So I'll have to see. So I just popped those in the ground like super fast. So I had one coneflower here. So I put one there and there just so I could have like a little trio. And then I did three just along the back fence there. So I have a Russian sage here. This is where I took the dahlia out and the dahlia out right here. This is um, a Shasta daisy. So just the three of them right along the fence line and they don't get that big or at least they haven't quite yet they might get they might get tall but you know those are not going to bloom until later um, late summer early fall so if you haven't seen the video where I actually used those in this garden bed this Vigo garden bed as a you know I used it as a display and then when the flowers faded now I can put them in my landscape because they are perennial which means that they will come back for me in my area even if it does freeze but I'm glad I got those in the ground because I didn't want to waste the plants. Um, Cause you know, plants aren't cheap or well, if you get them on sale, but you know, um, I wanted to make sure that they would come back next year for me cause they're so beautiful. So glad I got that done tonight. Okay, yardeners, I think that's gonna be it for me on this gorgeous autumn day. Um, it's crazy to think that in a day it's gonna be that cold that it would freeze. I mean, today is, I don't know, it's in the sixties and it's nice, but don't worry, I've still got some yardening projects to do. I've still got those evergreens to plant and those uh, coral bells. So stay tuned because I have some more projects coming that you won't want to miss for some winter interest in my yard. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, if you would subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up, I would truly appreciate it. I hope that you get out in your yard today. It's a fun place to be. If you need me, I'll be hanging out in the yard. See you later. Bye.